Reading Reading twenty one oh two is a is a T one class four eight four Northern, built built in in the nineteen twenties by the by Baldwin by Baldwin Locomotive Works for the Reading Railroad as a as a two eight zero consolidation number twenty twenty two. In nineteen forty five, it was upgraded. It was it went to the Reading shops and it was and it was, it was rebuilt as a Reading in, as a T one as a four eight four Northern and classified as a T one. And, and which were built from 1945 to 1947, and number 2100, and they were number 2100 through 2129. Right. 2102 would enjoy a career, a career on the Reading until it's retired until being retired in the 1950s. It's, it's when in favor of diesel power, instead of being scrapped like the uh, instead of being scrapped, however. Or the twenty one oh two was spared air from the scrapper's torch, or to use on on the ready in in Iron Horse Ramble steam program, um in um, from nineteen fifty nine to nineteen sixty four, or a after it was retired, I, it was used as a steam generator for an industrial. It was used as a, as a stationary boiler, or and or and it was then restored to operating condition to use on the on the ready. On the on the Reading Rambles, on the Iron Horse Rambles, also. it would operate the Rambles until 1964, when it was sold to steam trolls in Akron, Ohio. The 2102 also masqueraded as as a Delaware and Hudson and and look in 484 Northern, that being number 302. For the, for the anniversary for, for the anniversary of of the Delaware and Hudson Railway in 1973. In in nineteen in seventy three, it also double headed did a double header with Canadian Pacific four six two number twelve seventy eight, which was also masqueraded as a DNH engine. The twenty one hundred two was sold off yet again, this time to the Allegheny Railroad, oh. and and then it went down for 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 an over for an overhaul. In in nineteen seventy seven it. It steamed again. It pulled on a number of excursions, even a double header with, with Grand Trunk Western or number forty seventy over Horseshoe Curve. In the beginning of nineteen eighty five, it made an, an appearance at the X Reading shops to commemorate the one hundredth anniversary of the Reading T one class. Afterward, it was sold off to the Blue Mountain Reading Railroad, Road in Port Crane, Pennsylvania, and it became a running mate to. To Blue Mountain Mountain and Reading number four twenty five, which were, which was restored two years later. There, it, it would it would pull a, a number of excursions on the on on the BMMR, and also pull some coal trains during its career. There, it would also run for Conrail, Gettysburg, and Ross Rowan's High Iron Company. The the um, the twenty. And it would it would be in ser it would stay in service until un until nineteen ninety one when it was taken out of service again for another overhaul. That was when the twenty one hundred two was retired right, from service. In in that in September of nineteen ninety five, it was it was then sold to Steamtown to try and restore it. Later in ninety eight, the engine was taken apart and began restoration. In the same year, the twenty one hundred two was brought back to the Blue Mountain and Reading. Railroad. As of today, in in two thousand in in, in two thousand seven, the the Blue Mountain and, and Reading Railroad announced their plans to restore twenty one hundred two to operating condition. And 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 again, and in that in two in and in, in early January of twenty twenty one, the locomotive was test fired for the first time. I mean, decades. As of today, the twenty one oh two, the twenty one oh two is have is having a restoration of operating condition, and is expected to run again by by the end of twenty twenty one.